Welcome back to Sansamed and in this video we will talk about the complement system. So what is the complement system? The complement system is a part of your immunity. It can be part of both adaptive immunity or innate. These account for approximately 10% of your immu uh, immunization, uh, what your body will do back to the pathogen. This can be uh, produced by the liver, macrophages, and some mucosal cells in the lining the GI or the genital ur urinal tract. So what can, the, uh, what can this complement system do? One of the function is opsonization. So they, uh, some, parts of, uh, some of these will be something called an opsonin, and these will bind to an antigen and create a marking for phagocytosis. You will see them when I explain them which are the examples and how the procedure goes. Uh, some of these can play a part in chemotaxis. Chemotaxis is essentially <clears throat> a calling of the injured, uh, injured area for help. So some of these will work as messengers to call on more immune cells for enhanced immunization. Uh, some of the, one other function of the complement is cell lysis. Lysis means destruction, so cell destruction. And the cells we're talking about are, of course, the pathogens, such as the bacteria. These can also, uh, the complement system can also play a part in blocking a virus. They will block some paths of viruses, so the viruses cannot enter your cells. And eventually these will neutralize them by the different processes. The complement system have three pathways. Classical, alternative, and lectin. And only in classical we will find immunoglobulins, which are your antibodies. Uh, for more information about the antibodies, you can check the video about the antibodies. So let's start about the first pathway, which is the classical. The classical pathway is the only of these that is part of adaptive immunity. And how can we know? Because it has an antibody involved. An antibody takes a week or two to produce and sometimes we don't have that time and th that's when we have lectin and alternative. We'll talk about them later. So let's start with the classical pathway. In the classical pathway, here we will see a bacteria. And uh, let's say the bacteria has on its surface an antigen that has been previously recognized by our immune system and <coughs> antibody has been formed to recognize it more quickly. So here's the antigen and here's the bacteria. Then what we will see is that the antibody will bind to the antigen as it recognizes it. Th thereafter, uh, some mucosal cells might uh, produce C1. It's complement one protein. This one has several portions. Q, 2R, and 2S. So it has two of R's and two of S and one Q part. The Q will be the binding part and these uh, have some serine proteases that will continuously cleave and activate other parts. So once C1 has been bond, another protein called C4. This one will now be cleaved by C1 into two parts. And binding part and and A part, A part and B part. B for binding, A for away. So something goes away is A. B will continuously bind to the complement pathway. Simple. So, and this, uh, you will see that this will repeat itself, this process, with an A part and a B part continuously. So, after C4B has been bound to C1, these two uh, then another protein will be broken down into two parts, C2B. Uh, C2 into two C C2B and C2A. So now together, the C4B and C2B will form an enzyme called C3 convertase. C3 convertase uh, will now be cleaving C3 into C3B and C3A. A always away, B always binding. After this, you will have the C4B, C2B, and C3B. These together will form another enzyme complex called C5 convertase. And by the name, 
and the pattern it has followed so far, you will form and cleave C5 into C5B and C5A. We'll talk about what these A parts do. But first, let's continue this pathway. After uh, C5B have, uh, has been bonded, now it will attract other complements. But these will not be uh, divided into A and B parts. These are just complete, like CA, uh, C1. Uh, C6, 7, 8, 9, as you see here, they will form a spore-like structure where C9 will penetrate. It's like a stick that will make a hole in the bacterial cell wall while the rest of the complex uh, this com complex will put this pore like structure into the bacteria so by this um, uh, complex called MAC membrane attack complex so as the name suggests it's a attack complex that will attack the membrane ergo MAC this MAC system is found in all three pathways. Okay, so uh, what else do we have about this pathway? Nothing more specific. Uh, the pathophysiological aspects will be talked about in another video, but we can talk about something else right now, the A parts. What do these A parts do? The C3A, C4A and C5A these are together called anaphyla toxins. I repeat, anaphyla toxins. What these do is that they go to their receptors found on mast cells and they want some backup. So these will stimulate mast cells to release histamine, which, as you saw in the inflammation videos, will enhance vasodilation and endothelial contraction retraction. So more immune cells will come and enhance the neutralization after of the bacteria. Another thing you will find is C3B. It has another function besides being part of the complement system. It can work as an opsonin. So what is the opsonin? Opsonin will work as a marker. So as you see in this picture, you will have a bacteria and C3B or another opsonin can be IgG, IgM. These can also work as opsonins. These will bind now to the bacteria and these will facilitate other uh, immune cells such as macrophages or neutrophils to come bind to the FC portion of the antibody as you see here and get activated and then this will facilitate or enhance the phagocytosis and destruction of the bacteria intracellularly within the white blood cell. Then we also have C5A. C5A uh, alone can work as a chemotactic agent. What this one will do is that it's kind of like a siren. Uh, this one will attract uh, your immune cells to the injured area and that's the, one of the working ways of the chemotaxis. Other example of chemotactic agents can be leukotriene B4 or interleukin 8. And that's about it about the classical pathway and see the next video for the alternative and lactin. Thank you.